When the right people come together at the right moment, when they care almost as much about winning as they do about each other, they can become the best of the best. The best soccer show in the whole world. Here we go. The best soccer <laughs> show. Jason Davis and Jared Dubois. I don't have the voice for it tonight. I cannot. Uh, what do they say? Like when you're acting on stage, Jared, you have to. You have to project. Like, put your voice. What is it? Project. It's exactly right. I cannot project tonight. The, uh, the, the, the winter, whatever is going through my house and I've been stricken with the, what, let's be honest, which is with, with what is a very sexy voice on top of an already sexy voice. I mean, you can't look, self-proclaim that I can absolutely. Well, now it's going to get all high. Okay. Like, yeah. You're going to be careful. You're starting to go like, kind of. <laughs> kind of <brain. laughs> st- Sorry. That was inappropriate. And nobody wanted that, that either. <laughs> you, you need to figure out your mute button situation over there. There's no there's no cough button on this side, so I will try to uh, to shut it down. Wait, you don't have a WNBC we, cough button? A w no, I actually don't even have that for WNBC, which is wild. The the, the box I use to connect myself to uh, to studios in New York, the same studios from which Howard Stern broadcast his program, because oh. I am one degree removed. The original from Howard WNBC. Stern. Uh, I don't have a cough button for that. I have to like dial it down and dial it back up to right where I yeah, was. Yeah, I have to do the same thing of mine. I don't like doing it, it. Yeah, you're exactly like me with all of that. Absolutely. I'm exactly like you, except I don't get care packages from Apple TV. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to lodge a complaint. Uh, I hear that MLS Season Pass is live, that people are able to access all of the extra content that MLS has produced for the new streaming platform for the league, right? No games yet that come, they come later in the month, Mm. but there's archived games. There are iconic profiles. There are team profiles. I hear there are drone tours of the stadium, Jared. There's Sebastian Legette shark tank. Oh my God. I'm, I'm into that, but I can't access any of it because I don't have my, uh, I don't have my MLS season pass subscription. uh, Wait, that wasn't in the box from the league. They give you the box and then they're like, Stay tuned for the code. It's coming. And I don't oh, have the code. Man. So, you know, your your favorite. <laughs> You're all vibrator, no battery. <laughs> no, that's not. Are you saying MLS would even. Okay, I don't even know what that is. How you get your pleasure is up to you, my friend. Yeah. Um, I might pick your brain about MLS season pass. And those people who are in our chat right now listening to the show live. And we do have open phone lines. We hope they're going to work. We think they're going to work. You can yeah. call us up at that phone number on the bottom of the screen if you're watching via YouTube or, or Twitter or whatever, and we'll put you right on the air. I think and we actually appreciate it because we need to test it anyway because a little bit of weird things happening with our platform. Tonight, and really, but. let's be honest, the less I talk, the better it is for everybody. In general. Right? Oh, tonight. What? I think in oh. general. Oh, you took a shot. Okay. I, well, you said in, in our bestie Slack that you were going to make me do pitbull lyrics was that what i heard oh was yeah i was like thing? i should i should grab some pitbull lyrics and then let you do like some, <laughs> some like, what would be hear. your go-to pitbull song Jared, well, I, I, wouldn't, know what I, oh, I don't know a single one i can't name <laughs> i just is there one called dale because i think that's the only word he says mr worldwide you don't know mr worldwide he's in oh, everything I knew that was he's like in, his nickname i know that's actually the name of a song as well oh no mr worldwide is his nickname yeah uh dale dale is do you know what dale means it Jared. means like to go or something, or not. It not, means like, 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 come on, like let's like, go, like yeah. let's get it, let's let's. But do not it. vamos. Let's it's different than vamos. It, it literally means like give it, but you're not going to uh. say you just say get. It is. It is kind of like that, like give, give it. it. As far as I'm, as far as I'm aware, as a right, give me your you best know, p- a, p- pitbull dale, uh, dale. I, 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 uh, I want to hear you speak Spanish in the, with the voice. That's why I that's, really wanted to do it. You know what? I was. This is interesting that you bring this up. So. Everybody knows that my son, my, my little one, the two-year-old, uh, Tiago, is learning Spanish first in our house because his mom is a native Spanish speaker. She wants him to get Spanish first because English is going to come. He lives, he lives in the United States. He's going to get English. It's going to happen. No big deal. Yeah. She also wants him to be able to communicate with his, uh, with his abuelos, right? With his grandma and grandpa, with his um, abuela and abuela. So, abuela and abuela. So, I'm trying to keep up, right? I'm trying to also learn Spanish as much as I can so I can be part of his daily routine without feeling like I'm 
not you know doing the right thing with the with the language yeah and so i speak my the simple spanish i've learned to this point with him and i was thinking wow this sounds good yeah like mm -hmm. like vamos diago vamos Oh, Necesit see, there you go. Necesitamos ver mamá en la casa. Mamá está esper you, esperando en la casa para nosotros. You never sounded like, more manly. I'm just saying, like, it's right. It's I kind of want this forever for me, but I don't think I don't think I'm, I don't think it's going to keep. Eventually. Yeah, you're leaning into it now. I can hear you're leaning into it now. I mean, if you have it, why not? Why not? That's I mean, that's my theory. If you if you <laughs> if you do have it. Uh, I also I also threatened to sing Hallelujah to do a little Leonard Cohen. Well, too. you know one thing we do have tonight, and Nick, if you wouldn't mind, can you put that thumbnail back up? Can we give props to Mr. Nicky Soup and Salad on the thumbnail made for tonight? Look at that! If you're not on the if you're if you're just listening on your car, you got to yep. see the thumbnail for tonight's show. It's a fantastic representation of uh, the Ghostbusters with Jesse Marsh, Wes McKinney, Tyler Adams, and Brendan Aronson's heads on your favorite. Uh, guys who bust right, ghosts. So, so this is a scene. This is from the final climactic scene on top of the building. Yep. Right with Zool, with the whole, with Zool. the Marshmallow Man about to show up. Right. That's what yep. I'm guessing from this. All right. Uh, now, I do want to pick this apart part a little bit. So give it, give it to me one more time, Nick. I'm sorry. So we've got yeah, Jesse I Marsh. I want to do this too. Spangler on on Jesse Marsh's uni. So he's he's, he's okay. But I'm, I'll tell you, which one do you think is the right one for each character, though? That's what the, I wanted so, to ask you. Who so is I think, the what? I think that I think that um, Jesse Marsh is more Ray than no. Spangler. I'm gonna give you Marsh has to be the Ernie Hudson, and here's why: because why? he doesn't really he's not the same as the other. The other ones are all players, and he's not a player. You know, Ernie Hudson came in later. Ernie Hudson is kind of like I think you're, I think you're walking into some dangerous, some dangerous territory with Ernie Hudson and differences. I'm what just gonna say that he's right. He's not a founding <laughs> member of the Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. Okay, it's not it's not anything else about Ernie Hudson. No, he, that you're he pointing came out in later than all the other ah. Ghostbusters. So I think that's why Jesse Marsh he's the coach. He's not a player. The other three are all players. That's what they have in common. So I'm gonna go with Marsh as the Ernie Hudson. Okay, I I think Marsh is is the Ray because I think Ray is the most like Vanilla. Ray is the one that that seems like he's always chipper and up and happy, and he's and he's the one that is always like, "Let's go, guys! We can do this." That's Ray in the Ghostbusters. He's also the one that kind of comes off as a little bit hokey or a little mm -hmm. bit um, naive sometimes, right? He's not, he's not streetwise. I think Jesse Marsh has those vibes sometimes when he talks. He's a smart guy. Don't get me we wrong. We can both agree that we can both agree though. McKinney's Venkman, right? McKenny is a hundred percent Venkman, and there yeah. is no other shit no other option. As smart right. ass, could hear for a good that, time, and and as our man Mike Thomas says in the chat, that makes that makes Adams Egon right. That's Adams, where I was gonna go. That's where I was yes. gonna go. He's the he's the ner he's the nerdiest, even the most keel. studious, the most even keel. Yeah, right. He's gonna do the Tyler, work. He Tyler's gonna go out there and and be the workhorse of the group. Who does the most yep. work in the Ghostbusters? Egon. You know who Egon made those traps and those packs. Egon, Egon right. does that, and Tyler Adams is doing dirty work without and everybody giving him. And that's why I was gonna make Brendan Aronson the 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 Ray because I feel like he is the more vanilla of all of them. You know, he's just he's also there, but I guess that's also kind of the Ernie Hudson thing that you're trying to go to. But yeah, I'm gonna put him I, as Ray. I I think I mean I don't think that er, that that um, his name's not Ernie Hudson in the movie. What's his name in the movie? You're getting mad at me, and you don't even know. I mean, it's just not coming to me right now. You're the yeah, one that identified. You went straight to Ernie Hudson instead of somebody I'm in the chat is going to know. So I don't think that's a perfect fit for Brendan Aronson, but I think the other three fit so well that I have to, I have to put Brendan Aronson on, yeah. on Ernie Hudson's role. Okay. I have to. I, I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not mad at you, but for sure we know that the, the what Mr. Wes McKinney and Tyler Adams are, and, and and that's one thing that's been nice this week with Wes McKinney's announcement and showing up to Leeds is that you've gotten Leeds has been able to push out the content, the McKinney content, which is kind Winston. of fun. Thank you, to Winston. Mike Thomas. Winston. So I will I will also say that if you want to go back to the analogy, it this kind of makes Weston the Winston because he's the last addition because he's the fourth member to show, to be added to the group right yeah whereas you had already had the other three there and you know what things were okay things were you know they, they were getting started here but they needed help that's why the ghostbusters went out and now they were like you know doing tons of business so they mm. had to go hire somebody else to carry the workload Buster makes but, me feel good but this is also like westing is coming into a group that's already established so there you go
Okay. I don't know. Well, like I said, I, I've been enjoying the Weston McKinney content this week. Some fun stuff coming out of Leeds. Um, that you gotta, you gotta think that no matter what, they're already happy with the, by the traffic that they're getting. The uh, it, I mean, you, you <laughs> That's saw gonna what, keep them up. That's gonna keep them well, in the I don't Premier know about League next that, year. But it's yeah. gotta be. It, it, They've got to be making some money off all this stuff. I mean, the Americans are really paying attention to leads. It's going to help that profile in the U.S. I mean, we talked for years. You know what this years. might mean for, for Leeds? Hmm. This might mean that Leeds finally becomes as popular as Wrexham in the United States. That, well, that might I happen. Saw, I saw those numbers out of ESPN this, this weekend for that. That was uh, pretty impressive. Um, well, I mean, you know, Ryan Reynolds sells tickets, my friend. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? A handsome man right there, dude. Yeah, okay. Like, I, he I makes me question he, things. I don't think he's that handsome. You Barely are don't. full of crap. Now, have you seen the man's teeth? Who, name a handsomer man. man. I mean, if there are hamster, handsomer men Present company the world. excluded. Name a handsomer <laughs> man. Uh, well, I definitely have a sexier voice than Ryan Reynolds. I'll just stick with that, and I won't go anywhere else. An accident. No, regardless, <laughs> regardless, um, Leeds United is adding a player who can do some things for them, and obviously, as you said, maybe somebody who brings some more attention. We asked the question of how does Weston fit into this Leeds team? Now, mm -hmm. Leeds, since the break, coming into January and now February, has shifted from that 4-2-3-1 with Mark mm -hmm. Rocca next to Tyler Adams as a double pivot, pivot. to more to a 4-3-3, yep. right? And that would open up a place for Weston McKinney. Now, as we have already discussed, it might leave one of the Americans out, though. And, and Brendan yeah. Aronson hasn't been playing good soccer anyway, so... He may become it's tough, the sacrificial man. The role they've had him in, first of all, I, if I remember correctly, he has more chance creation than any other Leeds player. It's just there's no one scoring the goal. There's no striker up there. And to, now there's no finish. now now Rodrigo's out for two months, so uh, that's nice to have. Yeah, I mean yeah. they do obviously they you don't have to you don't have to rely on Bamford. Yeah, obviously he's not in form. They do have Ruder that's that's now Ruder that's now coming through, and hopefully to, to he say can be, by the way to say that Patrick Bamford is not in form is to imply that Patrick Bamford could be in form, and I'm not convinced he could ever be in form except yeah. against lower division opposition. So with FA Rodrigo Cup out because I mean everyone knows Rodrigo's true position is not at that that number nine top middle of the stri of the strike. He should be on as one of the wide strikers. That's it's it's position. Ruder's job, and he's 20 years old now, Jerry. <clears throat> yeah, and listen, I think that's okay. They got the guy for a reason, right? I mean, what they spend 20 million on him? I can't remember what it was. They I think did they, a good I, chunk of cash. Is he their record signing now? Was well, the next? It had to be closer to 30 or 40 then, because uh, Brendan Aronson was 30, wasn't he, or 27? Something like that. I believe they broke their record. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. It they doesn't matter. They spent then. a lot of money. They spent a lot of money in January. Inclu well, they spent a lot of money, or they will spend a lot of money on Weston McKinney because the mechanics of his move from Juve is a loan with an option. And I think, it, I don't know if it's an, an obligation to buy, but obviously it depends on whether or not Leeds stays up. Because if they go down, Weston McKinney's not going to be a Leeds player next year. Yeah. Probably neither I, I, will Tyler I, Adams I, nor Brennan Aronson. Listen, if you're a Leeds fan, you got to be stoked. I mean, Weston McKinney is not certain names that are out there, but you are getting a Champions League level Juventus player. That's a, more than a lot of English Premier League teams that are in a relegation battle can say. They are able to bolster their team with a Champions League level player at a position that they need. Um, the question is, where does the it's a position they need if they're going to run a four three three? I should say, if they're going to continue to run a four two three one, then I'm not sure what Weston McKinney's uh, plan, what the plan is here to use Weston McKinney, unless it's in a double pivot. And I think you limit him. You don't bring him in for you don't bring him in to make him play a role other than what he's best at, which is that box to box eight. Um, can he do other stuff? Yeah, you saw Juventus. He was a duct tape player for Juventus. Allegri put him everywhere, all over the field, but. You got to imagine if you're picking him out of a lineup, that's the guy we want to bring in to help us stay up. You're going to utilize him as best way possible, and that's going to be yes. an eight. Yes, and he's he he's going to make them better defensively simply by the fact that he does cover a ton of ground. Now he's not yeah. Tyler Adams, but he's also much more dangerous going forward. So you're looking for that. Balance, he, right? he also is going to do something that you don't see much. Of. Like Brendan Harrison is trying to do it from time to time, but I don't think it's what he's as good at. It's advancing the ball with the ball at the feet. Like Weston McKinney can advance the ball through midfield with the ball at his feet. And I think Brendan Aronson is good on the half turn and distributing on off the half turn. I think that's what he's probably better at. But I think what Leeds truly needs is someone that's going to advance the ball with the ball at their feet. And I think that's what McKinney can give them. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll find out uh, if this works out for Leeds United and Weston McKinney, you know, finds a new home. I, in terms, okay, so we're talking about his fit. We've kind of already talked through when this was being rumored, Jared. Uh, we've already talked through, like, do you like the fact there are three American players together? 
Do you like the fact that they're playing for an American coach? Does that feel like too many eggs in one particular Premier League basket? It makes my one weekend is... viewing easier. I mean, I don't have to try to watch four <laughs> games to watch these guys play. I can just right. watch one. That, that, that's well, nice. But, see, but here's the problem. Now now uh, NBC can can mess us around and put it on Peacock one week and NBC the next. I got NBC's all the platforms, baby. That, that, that's poor man problems. I got that. I'm good. <laughs> I got all you. the platforms. Listen to you. Um, I cut the I was... cord. I just get the ones I want. Nah, you know, I, uh, I've been having this, this discussion with my wife. She's like, you know what? We got too many streaming things. I don't even think she knows how much they cost altogether. Even though she does the money in the I house. I guarantee because you your wife does. I don't, think she, I don't think she does. I think she has a vague idea, but I don't think she sat down and like, See, this one is $15 a month and this one is $12.99. You're telling me that you don't get the write-off streaming platforms? As I do. A no, 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 I do. Oh, okay, I absolutely good. do. Yeah, yeah, All and right. it's going to happen soon for 2022. Okay, good. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's okay with the money going out the door. And it's not dollar yeah. for dollar. It's not like because I spent $20 on a streaming platform every month, I get exactly that amount off my, my taxes. That's not, how, that's not how it worked. I wish that's how it worked, but that's not how it worked. Oh, you had um, a little Rush uh, Limbaugh to your voice right there. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, um, <laughs> I was telling her maybe Peacock's the one we can get rid of. You know, I don't. I watch the. I watch like I like the Premier League. I watch the Premier League, but yeah. you know, I, I, I was bargaining because I, can't, I can't justify dropping Paramount. Uh, you can because you drop ESPN Plus these days. They're, I, I thought about that. They got man, just but, FA Cup now. But ESPN Plus does until Rex comes out. Well, no, they, they they also have the Bundesliga, which I like. Yeah. They've also got La Liga, which I like. I watched I watched Real Madrid and Valencia today because Yunus Musa was in the lineup against Real Madrid. The hard part is that every, it seems like every streaming platform has a piece right now. You know, like Champions League is on Paramount. That's, that's the problem uh, the we've got. Right? Premier Everybody's League got is on the USA and like NBC. You know, like it's... It's unfortunate that you can't get more like okay real quick, let's 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 gold tier these let let let's 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 rank oh you want to rank them you want to rank what's them? the best value platform Ooh. for American soccer well, fans I don't, I don't to put their the, money in again rich man problems I don't know the actual price tag on all no, of these no, forget the, the price tag my... let's assume okay, they're, they're all roughly ten dollars a month let, let, let's oh, okay, assume they're all sure. roughly around that okay sure 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 what's gold tier status what's the platform that you cannot have as a soccer fan in america uh well okay so i would i would say champions league probably trumps everything now there are there are moments you could do that thing people sometimes do where like when ted lasso is not not on apple mm -hmm. tv there's not a new season rotate you, for one of them. you get rid That's of okay apple we're gonna TV. rank a couple so people can make their decisions to, to vacillate if I, they like i'm saying paramount plus you have to have because of the champions league. I, I agree because they also have a small limited amount of u.s national as well i'm not sure if they are in the next cycle mm, if they have any no. at all they have none no in the next no, cycle? so no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me say this. Let me let me rephrase again. Splitting of rights, right? So all of the, all of the non-tournament, non-World Cup, non-Concacaf, those things, those games will be on HBO Max and TNT. Yeah. Right. Yep. So if you want to watch friendlies, if you want to watch the Sea Reliefs Cup, which is coming up for the U.S. Women, mm -hmm. you've got to have. Uh, HBO Max. I, I'm still gonna put Paramount Plus as number one though Both. because it's constant. There's more there. Well, there's more also, often. There's also Syria. Uh, what I was gonna say about Paramount Plus and our man, JTT John Tannewall can uh, can verify this if I am correct. King of all soccer media. O M F P G thirteen. It's JTT. Who? Um, I believe Paramount Plus has Concacaf rights for certain things. So. I, I just to clarify that. Yeah, I, that I agree with you. I'm gonna put Paramount Plus on God tier. That, that's that, that's the oh, top. Oh, it's on God. Wow. Well, well they they do have, what's the top tier? You know, like they do have like is it, it is there's Paramount one Plus you're going where to put your money in where Clint Dempsey works, right? He works over there at sure. Paramount Plus. So so okay, that's decided. So yeah, same thing Paramount with Micah Plus. and and Thierry and that, that Thierry. Last, uh, Thierry 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 Henry. Uh, and then due to the Liverpool accent, I can't stand. Uh, oh, Jamie Carragher. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. He man wears nice, uh, nice suits, nice multiple piece outfits. I enjoy he does. that. All right, so Paramount Plus. I'm gonna go HBO Max too because you can't live without U.S. national team. But and again, there's not as much as there would be in a normal cycle. No, but that's that, that's the thing. They don't have the Gold Cup. They're not yeah. gonna have Copa America. There, there's no qualifiers for the men. The men's, the women's World Cup is gonna be on Fox, right? So. 
you're buy if you get HBO Max for soccer, you're just getting friendlies and like like if you if if I really thought about it, and I, I look, I somebody mentioned Succession, and maybe I could be a character on Succession. Shout out to Nicholas Murray. I have HBO Max because I'm I want to watch Succession. I've watched other shows on HBO Max. Like we're we're trying to give White Lotus a, a run. I don't know. I will keep it for those reasons. But if you were just keeping it for soccer, it's not worth it. I don't think it's worth that it. That should be like Majority Mihaljevic's nickname, White Lotus. Why Georgie Mihaljevic? I don't know. His first white player came <laughs> in my head. <laughs> the first one, Georgie Mihaljevic. Um, so I don't. Okay, know so not HBO Max for you then. What do you what do you what do you put it on, on second tier? Um, probably ESPN because there's multiple leagues over there. Okay, not Fox. I guess Fox. Uh, have much, uh, uh, what is Fox? Fox has the World Cup rights. Yeah, I guess, they, but that's for down the road. You know, like that's not. Yeah, uh, they're going to have Copa America next year. I think that's Fox too. Okay, so you're right. If, if, if the amount of games you have access to is probably one of the best, the the, the leading things. Uh, look, I makers. know if 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 I am not interested in anything happening in the Premier League on a given Saturday, or there's FA, it's an FA Cup weekend or something, and I want to go look for something else. Which mm-hmm. you know, lots of leagues run the cups the same weekends. For whatever reason, they all get together on that. It's like conspiracy. Was Germany and England were like, you know what? Let's just all do cup games this weekend. Oh, we got to put this um, one in the mix too from Mike Thomas. Apple TV is now in the in the mix for conversation okay. with okay. MLS. Okay, we'll get there, guys. Let's let's just chill on that one. They haven't even put games on there yet. Well, which uh, one do you need though? ESPN Plus is a good place to go if I'm not interested in what the Prem is offering me. And this is where NBC is an interesting and Peacock. That's the interesting question, right? It's like, well, Peacock's the streaming service you have to pay for. If you want to watch all the games, you have to have a cable subscription to also get access to USA or wherever else they put the games, right? Because there's no no more NBC Sports. Now, it doesn't matter. You still have to have a cable subscription. Um, yeah. So you have to double up. And, and uh, so let's come to Apple TV Plus and the, and the or Apple TV's MLS Street Season Pass package, right? Which is... Yeah, because I don't uh, get it with my Apple TV Plus. I have to pay for it in addition. Right, but you don't have to have an Apple TV Plus subscription to get Season Pass. True. Right? You Which can, makes me wonder why do I have an Apple TV Plus subscription, I guess. Well, yeah. sure. There, I, I just got three months free with my uh, MLS uh, gift. So I'm going to be watching. I'm going to catch up on... Uh, what hey, is can you the, add me to your family account, dude? Like, severance. I'm going to catch up on Severance. Uh, how does that work? How does that work? Can I do add oh, me as a family member? Mythic Quest. I can have free you guys, season pass? You guys pass? like Mythic Quest, right? I should watch Mythic Quest. That's watch over there on that. Of it. Okay. Somebody no, watch for all Quest. mankind. That's the one. Oh, I that's the that. one. Okay. That's a, that's a good one. So, but what I was going to say is MLS season pass, which people are bitching about the price, right? What is it? 99 for 80 the year bucks if you don't year. have 99 for the year, hundred bucks a year. If you don't have an Apple TV plus subscription, yeah. 80 bucks if you do, yeah. right? And obviously you're you're paying for an Apple TV Plus subscription. That's an yeah. additional, it's a wash. Or 15 bucks a month or whatever it is. And people are bitching about it. And look, I get it. And, you know, I'm going to have to have a discussion with my wife well, if it turns I, I, out I'm MLS doesn't give me a free, free subscription. You probably had it for free back in the day because you're big J journalism working for WNBC. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to remember what I used to pay for Direct Kick. WNBC. WNBC. I, I want to say I paid like a hundred bucks for Direct Kick for the season. I, I'm pretty sure it was something like that. And so if I'm I was paying a sure hundred bucks for Direct Kick, yeah, I'm getting a lot more value for my money. We already talked about some of the peripheral things that are that come with this. I think people's plus the backouts. I think perce- people's perceptions of this is are slightly twisted and wrong. And I'm not saying people shouldn't like. I'm not saying people can't be upset about the price point if. if it bothers them. Like, yeah, if that's a lot and you already have 12 other streaming platforms, I get it. But, okay, a couple things. One, the, the, the way that they're packaging it, where it's one point of access plus all this other content, it's not like they're just saying all you get is the games, right? They're going to do whip around shows. They're going to do pregame coverage. They're going to give you all that extra stuff that is already out there. Week to week, you're going to get review shows. You're going to get uh, game previews. You're going to get interviews. Clubs are required to produce content. Now, Melissa is actually forcing the clubs to do this or they get fined, Jared. This is actually a thing that's happening right now. So I'm, I'm saying that they are trying to maximize the value of it, right? And yeah. and I don't know. It's, it, it seems like... It, it, it seems like people are concocting ways to be upset by the price. I saw this guy be say like, uh, why would I pay for MLS at 15 bucks a month for lesser quality soccer when I can get all these games for free? And he, and he retweeted NBC Sports 
uh, weekend schedule for their Premier League games. And he was like, these are all free. And I was like, Peacock, Peacock, USA, you have to have a cable subscription to get that. Like, at least don't ignore those extra costs when you consider what MLS is charging. Now, if you have a cable subscription or you pay for 12 other streaming platforms, this is a lot on top of that. I get it. I'm not saying go pay it, shut up and suck it up. I'm saying don't pretend like MLS is off the reservation or out of bounds. It's the wrong way. I shouldn't have said that. Out of bounds with this price point. When they're trying to, they're trying to maximize the revenue that's possible out of this deal. I don't know. Like, do you think it should be so, like five bucks? No, no, no. I listen. Like I said, may, I've got the, I have the, um, I have the background of remembering how much I paid back in the day. And if I was paying a hundred bucks for direct kick back in the day, and I'm paying that now with the inflation that's been happening over the last ten years, and the extra product that I'm getting, and I don't have blackouts for me personally. I find that to be worth, that's about the cost of going to one or two games for a single ticket. I find that to be a, a enough of a value that I'm willing to do it. Now, what I want to see is, Jason, if, if they put you and I in charge, yeah. what kind of shows would we produce? Oh, man, this would be What great. kind of content? I got an idea for a content show, okay? Oh, man. Okay, it's a re- Every Monday, it's a tell review me. show, but it's not a review yeah. of the games. Okay. It's a review. All you do is watch all the entrance videos of all the players arriving to the stadium. It's okay. a show called Fit or Shit. Oh, and wait, you, hold on. You, 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 you talk about how hot the fits are of the players coming can in. We get this, can we get this by the censors, though? Like, I don't know. Okay. But, uh, give me a better word that rhymes with fit. No, I, no, I, no. I like, I like it. like it. Just, just, just don't say it a bunch of it's times. It's the internet. There are no okay, rules. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. internet. We're good. We're good. Okay, fit or so, shit. So, so, guys walking in, you like, what's he wearing? What's, what's his bag is he, that he's carrying? Yeah. They all got those stupid bags. They have nothing in it of importance. And they have to have the, their designer bags. And just want to know who's looking douchey, who's arriving in a trucker cap, and who's arriving in Louis Vuitton. Take okay, the game well, off the hold field. Hold on. Hold on. Can we also can we expand this? Can we sure. also do rides? Coaches? Oh. No, rides. Co- Can we do oh. rides? Hell yes. Are we at that point yet? Is it fair to like... I think we are fair? because I, I think it's the... There is no better judge of where MLS <laughs> is in the world <laughs> than, just, than looking and seeing what cars these guys are driving to the stadiums and, yep. and Jason, who carpools. Because that's the walk of shame. That's the walk of shame. If you're carpooling... Yes, so that's no, a walk but, of shame. But, but maybe it's a cumulative point situation because if okay. you are carpooling, man, you don't even have your own ride. You're not, ta- you're not bringing yourself to the stadium in style. You don't have your own chariot. But when you get out of the passenger side and you look fly, you've got the, ki- you've got the fit. Mm. I don't know. Like you can make up for it. Like if somebody is, you know, that's true. If you're getting out of like, if you're getting out of, I don't know, what, what, you're getting out of like your Ferrari, but you got like, cargo shorts on okay that's a choice that's a choice you're trying to make that work that wasn't the best you could come up with you're trying to make that work yeah i mean you know the people the guys will make uh mascot in the chat saying instead of fit or shit flyer by let's see okay what what else we we got we could do that we could do that fire content ideas Uh content ideas uh for our little corner of mls season pass which go hard or red card i don't know Go hard or red card. No, um, that's not good enough. It's got to be fashion related. Really, like, it has to be like, it has to be something like that. I don't know what it is, but I'm just telling you right now, MLS, hire me. I got a million of these ideas. Yeah, we got we got to get on top of this. We we need uh, we need to have some some. We need to. Do you have to write a proposal now, Jared? Are you capable of that? Oh God damn it! I got a job already. I don't want to try to work. Okay. I just Let's go to the phone put lines. Ideas in the and someone makes them happen. Let's get this man on the program. Michael Fiscal. Oh. Okay, it's not Michael Orozco Fiscal. It is oh. Mike from Philly, whose yeah. voice that is. Mike, what's up? Hey, uh, so I, with the whole Apple TV thing, I'm very conflicted about it, right? As a guy that would have bought it anyway, mm. guy that maybe, you know, that whole direct, hardcore like direct kick crowd that would have bought it right it's a great value all the content we've been asking for i'm just really afraid what it's going to do to just overall growth of the league right i i was at the office today talking to a guy maybe goes to you know three four union games a year catches a handful of games on tv here and there this is a guy that's never going to buy this mm-hmm. and probably not going to watch any union games He's not going to be scouring Apple to get the free game that week of the Union. 
he's got two young kids that would be potential union fans. And I mean, maybe they still will. They're still going to go to a couple games this year. But I mean, you're really blocking out a segment of your potential fan base, right? So I, I, I don't know. I, I have, I, I think it's a big risk reward. I understand why MLS couldn't turn down the offer. It's an offer they can use, but yeah. you know, not having your local team on linear TV or not easily accessible to the masses to help grow. I mean, maybe but it's a little bit of a legit growth concern. Team. Like, but, but, but Mike, MLS, he, but here's what here's, why I'm, not, here's why I'm not here's why I'm not buying team. this, Mike. Here's why I'm not buying this anymore. If if we had all these um, uh, very successful regional sports networks. We had a bunch of local channels that were chomping at the big to get their hands on soccer, or they were going to present in every case across 30 teams in MLS, and yeah, maybe there's too many, a professional product worthy of a, of a league that wants to put itself at a higher level. I would be like, sure, maybe they're missing something. Maybe they're losing something. I certainly think that they're losing something without broadcasters who are going to be watching teams during the week and talking to coaches and focusing on one team. I think that's going to be a weird adjustment. But there, that was a dying model. The model was dying. MLS knew it was dying. And I'm not saying that this is better. I'm just saying I'm not sure there was an alternative for the future of the league from a broadcasting perspective if the regional sports model is dying and Apple is like, we really want to get into sports. Here's a boatload of cash and we're going to support you and we're going to help you know, launch all these other elements of your product. It's, it's a simple, essentially one-stop shopping for a sports product and Apple is going to go find ways to buy the NBA rights or buy some other big leagues rights. And it's going to make MLS look better in the long run. But what, but what does this do to grow MLS specifically? What, what does this but, but, do but, to but grow MLS, look, people? Okay. Again, in MLS? I, I, I find this weird because MLS is already a league where there is a calcified fan base for the most part. Right. The people who want to be soccer fans and support soccer in this country are soccer fans and support soccer in this country. And I suppose you are maybe shutting the door on a younger generation. There's a problem there, I suppose. But I just don't know that there's that, that MLS is going to gain that much by catering to a guy who's flipping around the channels and like, oh, Oh, the, the union are on Channel 20? I'll stick around and watch that, bro. Like, I don't think that's it's a, a thing. There's a chance we would, like, in Philly last... No, but, uh, but uh, Philly last fall, Mike, you maybe you can help us out. You had a time where the Illy Eagles, Phillies, and the union were all in the postseason. There was Philly fervor around sports. You might have got some casual viewers that wouldn't normally be in because, like, oh, man, I hear this team's in the playoffs, too. We're like a city of champions over here. Like, maybe they tune in for that. But, Mike, does it make you feel better at all knowing that at least a small percentage of these games are free on Apple TV, or is it the fact you can't? It's not. It's not on. That's what a normal saying. TV is. But that's people, the deal breaker but, for but you. But viewing habits have changed so dramatically. We're old. We're dinosaurs when it comes to the way we watch TV. People don't watch TV like us. So if you are like imagining that the game, they watch prices right it, when they're homesick. It <laughs> definitely not. They're not. Yeah. Oh. Um, if you imagine the game grows because it's on linear television, linear television is not even really where anything is going to be happening. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm buying into this this fundamental change oh, yeah. in how the media Galaxy works. Galaxy haven't been on regular television in L.A. for 10 years. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's been cable. Like, it's been uh, local s- sports cable stations. I mean, I can't remember. God, and I don't that's, know but, was, but that's, and that's the only last people who are going to... So only people who are going to give them money, right? So you're already putting yeah. a barrier between between the fans who can't afford cable or don't want to buy cable or don't want to pay for that tier of their cable package. Yeah. You're already putting a barrier there. So, okay, but I still, if I have that package, I can flip around and find the Galaxy. Or I'm watching the, the Lakers review show and the Galaxy is next. I'll, I'll watch that. Sure, that's sports. Why not? You're, mm. but, but still, we're just moving the goalposts all the time, talking about how we're going to get I mean, these there, fans there's to said help about, the league grow. One of the reasons why like, Friends was successful is because it was on after Seinfeld. You know, like, that lead-in was a big thing. That's but a MLS has tried thing. this. For 20 years, MLS has tried that, right? I, look, this is not me saying MLS is this great product, and oh my God, I can't believe nobody likes it. What I'm saying is if you know what your fan base is, and you know that you can generate revenue to make your league better right you're asking mike how does this grow mls 
I don't know that it grows fans organically. I don't know if that's a thing. Again, Apple is going to blast this everywhere yeah. and push people to sign up for it, and they're going to give away stuff for free to try to get people in the and, front door. And, and let's not forget that it happens. You MLS happens to be launching potentially the same month as Ted Lasso. You know, like you're going to get a lot of crossover. Like they're trying to do this thing. They're trying. You're to, talking to market about this thing. one of the best positioned companies in the world from a capital standpoint, backing the league instead of ESPN, who could give two shits about promoting MLS. Well, but they, they, Mike's, to be fairness, Mike's point is instead of ESPN, no, he's no, like, no, instead I, of I, a local affiliate. I, I understand that, but the local affiliates not running a bunch of ads all over the I, city. I have more issue with the fact they're not bringing the local talent that's been covering these teams for years yeah, in, I know that's, in, in I entirety that. over to the platform i mentioned that and that's a thing all right let's uh mike you got anything else well oh well so speaking of uh if you're homesick maybe we can make a show like the allocation price is right or something like that <laughs> um no I, I no one understands the rules but uh yeah, I, I i am just you know i i can't tell you how many reports i have of just like people that watched mls cup and were like oh man this is great and they would be interested in tuning into a few games and to me this caters to the guy that's going to watch every game every week uh and it really blocks out the people that may only tune in to like four or five games a year which i mean to build a fan base and foster it and almost as like an ad to go out to the stadiums and stuff you, you want that you don't want to be invisible within your city and that's that's my you want to be in the zeitgeist. I, I get it. I, mean, I, 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 I don't understand. think you're necessarily wrong. Why, but the, but the, like, but he, he, the thing just, about you know, soccer in this country, well. the thing about MLS in this country, okay, and, and this is going to sound, I, I don't even know what the word is, like uh, it, 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 very cynical, I guess. I love MLS, but I'm not going to presume that MLS is going to somehow grow to a place where it's going to be as big as the Phillies or as big as the Sixers or as even as big as the, as the Flyers in Philadelphia. Like, I just don't know that that's possible. And I'm, honestly, I don't care. Like, I don't care. I want the league to be good. I want it to be entertaining. If they, be I want the them to spend more money because that means better soccer for me to watch. I'm already a fan. I, I don't really care if they're the second most popular team in Philadelphia. Now, if you, if you need that as, as a soccer fan, I don't know whether it's for validation or because you see some end game there. Mike, mm -hmm. before I get to JTT, that's what I'll ask you, because I ask myself this question all the time. What's the point? What, what, when you say, is this growing MLS, why do you want MLS to grow? What benefit is there for you? For me, okay. Why not? Why, why can't MLS be <laughs> on the level of no, the upper can. Seriously. But, no, but Mike, why, what I'm saying. Why can't what, MLS be on the level of the four other leagues that it considers its peer group in this country? For spending oh. pennies on the dollar. Oh, okay, uh, okay. But, so maybe that's why. But like, why? Why not? Why not? Have but but MLS but but Mike, you're advocating you're advocating planet, right? for a broadcast model that brings in significantly less money than they just got from Apple, and yet you're saying why can't they be on par? They need to spend money to be on par with those other leagues because the thing that people knock MLS for most is that the best players don't play here. Now, you uh, and I know as soccer fans that Ronaldo, the next Ronaldo, is not coming through the door at MLS anytime soon, but they can get a lot better, right? And, and they can grow and they can attract better players, but you can't do that without money. And the, the owners aren't just going to give their clubs a bunch of money to sign the next generation of great players from South America. Well, they bring in more money, they spend more money, the quality gets better, the game gets better, and even if it's blocked off or somewhat invisible in a city, you don't think that if the Philadelphia Union are going to another MLS Cup title, that the fans the sports fans of Philadelphia who want to scream about how great Philly is aren't going to jump on board some in some way, shape, or form? Of course they are. That uh, takes care I'll of itself. Say this. I know we got GTT on the line, but I, I think Mike's right in that this has the potential to slow, natural, organic sports growth. I just, I just don't believe it that has, that's a thing okay, for okay, MLS. Listen, listen. Okay, I think that is a... I, I th I think that is a fair point to make that okay. this would stop. What I will say though is I think there's two reasons why this is why this is potentially the, the right way to go for for MLS. Uh, one, like you said, the influx of, of of cash that it gives. I think I think MLS is right to say that. I think. I don't think that they're organically going to grow at a percentage that is equal to the amount of money that they could get by just securing the base 
with Apple. I think securing the base for a good, a good chunk of money is better than trying to organically grow like they have over the last 20 years for less money. I think they made the right call in doing that. And secondly, I don't think it stops here with MLS. MLS is proof of concept for Apple TV yeah. or something like yes, that. Exactly. Yeah. They are, we have the chance to be in on the ground floor when Apple goes and bids on the NFL yeah. or something like that in uh, a couple of years. And then I mean, look, we're, none of us are talking about this because we're like, hey, sure. everybody that's buying this to the NFL is also going to have access to MLS potentially. Yeah, look, MLS is banking on that. And again, I'm not saying I love Nick everything Cole about this. Head. I saw him. I'm not saying that this is like, I, I think that MLS are geniuses and this is the greatest thing to ever happen to, to soccer in this country. No, I think in a perfect world, MLS is like the NFL, right? That there is a national model that people watch games no matter who's playing because that's how the NFL runs, right? Obviously, they regionalize the broadcast. There are no local broadcasters for, ML, uh, for NFL except in the preseason, and everybody hates those guys. Right, the NFL. Every game is a national game in the sense that <clears throat> one big broadcaster. No, no. What I'm saying is they're broadcasted regionally, but yeah. every game is treated like a national game. Agreed. Right. Every game yeah. has a, a, a non-local crew. It's it's broadcasted by one of the big networks. You know why? Because it's incredibly popular. Already incredibly popular. Right. MLS. If MLS can get only to that play like point, sixteen games a season. It's if there was a way for it a MLS really to get there. Many. I would love that. It's not going to happen. And you're paying 130 games a season like baseball. No one gives a crap. <laughs> Let's go to. Let's go to our man JTT who wants to jump in here. Let him play it again. OMFPG13. It's JTT. Right, oh, the man knows media. The man knows there media. Good evening, gentlemen. Jonathan Taylor Tannenwald. You sound amazing, John. You sound like You sound better than me. You sound better than me. I am calling on Skype this time with a new podcast Ooh. microphone that I just bought instead of calling on my cell phone that everybody used to complain. So, Look yes. at him flexing with that, that, that old school newspaper money. He's got enough to buy microphones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah. it costs about $30. So thank you. Um, extra, um, extra. Okay. Read all about gonna, it. JTD's got a new podcast microphone. Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to address Mike in Philly, and I'm not sure whether it's Mike Thomas or Mike Borton or somebody else. I probably know them all. We've been spoiled here in Philadelphia in terms of access to the union with the local game broadcasts on a free-to-air local channel and free in-market streaming online on the team's website, which I have said multiple times over the years the team was giving away money by not selling those streaming rights. The team that, as we saw in the Forbes valuations today, needs to make all the money that it can get. The totally, the totally um, real other markets, and not at all fake for valuations, yes. Sure, but even if you take it for what it was, just saying that those were the numbers about the news. In a lot of other markets in the country, where the games were not just on cable, but on cable channels in some of the markets like Atlanta and Minneapolis, and Denver's been the most egregious. How many years now, Jason? 10, 15 years? Yeah, I'll Altitude. Nobody likes Denver. Altitude. It's a terrible channel that's on no right. service, no network. But I can I tell mean, you Marcelo know. Balboa's on it. Yeah, Marcelo Balboa was on Jared, Altitude and Los nobody Angeles, heard him. Right? Yes, I am, sir. All day long. Jared, you're in Los Angeles, right? I claim it. What's the <laughs> biggest team in Los Angeles? One or two? There's two Lakers. of them. What, I want to see which one you pick. As well. Lakers, then Dodgers. Okay. What's, okay, the Dodgers. How many people can watch Dodgers games in Los Angeles? We know this. Oh, it, it, almost it none. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's re it's actually very similar to the Dead Galaxy. You need Sportsnet. Uh, you need uh, Sportsnet to watch the Galaxy as well. It's not too different to watch Galaxy games. It is the Dodger games. And the Dodgers right. clock big we money were... from that deal, though. Big money. Yeah. yeah, we've been spoiled in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is not a case study for where this is going to work best. Now, Philadelphia is also a television market that is old-minded. It is also old-aged, to be sure, but it is especially old-minded in terms of people who, who just about, who, if they could, would leave their televisions on the only RS regional sports channel we have, the only one in this town, NBC Sports Philadelphia. Podcast. They would leave their televisions in their man caves on that channel 24-7 if they could, except for Eagle Sunday. 
and leave the TV upstairs in the kitchen on Channel 6 for the local news <clears throat> all the time and never change the channel. Because that's the way the, that this market thinks. And so, yes, this is different. Yes, I've taken a lot of complaints from people about it. But Temple Basketball, which in Philadelphia, Temple University College Basketball, is supposedly a big deal. Most of the, I don't know, most, a lot of those games are on ESPN Plus. Three of the other smaller college teams in Philadelphia have deals with ESPN Plus. Supposedly college basketball in Philadelphia is a big deal. We like to think that it is. It's not. I know from plenty of experience that it's not anymore. But it's. Union fans, I hate to say this because I certainly wasn't complaining as somebody who DVRs all the Union games to watch them back later. We were spoiled in Philadelphia yeah. the last few years. Well, so, so John, John. Mainly because JTT covers that Philadelphia region. Philadelphia specific situation notwithstanding. And again, I'm just, I'm simply trying to make the argument that MLS is certainly taking a risk and, and they are sort of investing in their own future by by putting themselves behind this paywall and we could talk about the details of 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 how many games are free and all that stuff too but they're taking a risk here but at this point in time with the way things are trending for the fifth best league in terms of generating television dollars in this country this seems like the best option for them that's the only way i can see it and i'll and i'll give you i'll give you another reason why i'll give two more reasons the first is we this is something that I know Philadelphia fans don't want to hear. But all three of us have been around this for long enough to know how many times NYCFC would get bumped off the yes work by a Yankees game. So you could only watch it on the Fox Sports app and you still had to have cable. Yeah. So that's one. Two is there's a national chain of regional sports cable channels called Bally Sports. It is on the verge of going bankrupt. And they're all going to be in the trash can. They're going to take a bunch of baseball and basketball teams and hockey teams potentially down with them. Yeah. But I look here at the list of all the Bally Sports uh, channels in the country. Kansas City had Sporting. Midwest, which is St. Louis, could have had St. Louis City SC. Ohio had Columbus. South had Atlanta United. Um, North one had Minnesota United. We're all in big trouble. And now fans in those markets don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, I do true. think it's a trade off. That, that is the, kind of a the, big thing. The look, again, I know there's a price point barrier for their casual fan and all of that stuff. I yeah. get it. I do. Sure. But to me, the one stop shop element of this is a game changer, right? It is. It, and look, even the NFL, you buy the package. You, you can be blacked out on your local game, or you have to go, obviously, to your local broadcaster to see it. Or there, there's, okay, that's probably the best, um, the best parallel to this. But again, this is every single game, regardless of if on, it's on national television. It, I don't know. It, to me, that part of it, right, not having to hunt, not having to worry about where you're going to find it, of able to see all of that extra content that's being made around these teams, I would hope that, that Apple and MLS come up with creative ways to get people into the, the, the door or to put their, themselves in the shop window so that there will be an opportunity to grab new fans. I can't imagine MLS is just saying, well, well we're, never, nice never, we're, never, we're never going to make a new fan again. This is just how we are now. It was now. smart to, to package with the season ticket holders to a free me membership to this. So it's not like it's one or the other if, or anything like that. If, if, if. Apple had gotten the NFL Sunday ticket tax that they were bidding. The context of Apple would have changed immediately. If they get the NBA in the next round, the context of Apple changes immediately. If they get the NWSL in the next round, there's been a lot of chatter about whether that could be possible, what a big deal could do for a women's sports league, whether it be the NWSL or the WNBA. That could be a big deal. If they had gotten the Pac-12, uh, somebody asked in the chat about Villanova. The Big East has a big deal with Fox, so all the Villanova mm -hmm. are on FS1. It, it, Apple is just getting started with this. I don't know where they're going to yeah. go. Obviously, obviously, it is a gamble by MLS. But if they had gotten NFL Sunday, 
the perception of Apple in the sports realm would have changed dramatically. And if they get the NWSL, the perception of, and I'm not saying that they will, I don't know. But if they do, because they've been mentioned as candidates, the perception in American soccer um, changes dramatically. And it actually goes to something you guys were talking yeah, about. Yeah, if you earlier, don't think Amazon's going to follow in suit. In terms of ranking, ranking the streaming platform, you've got to remember the Paramount Plus has the WSL for another year. And That's Peacock true. has the U.S. national team. In Spanish. Yeah. In Spanish, right, with Telemundo, yeah. Which is nice to be a bundle. Uh, JTT, uh, we could talk to him forever. I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much for the call. I, the one other point I will make, and again, this is just one more element in in why MLS might be attracted to this, not to say that it justifies the, the deal or justifies taking the games behind a paywall, except for 40% of them and all that. Uh, and, and again, you have to go find it. I get it. Being attached to Apple puts MLS on a different tier in perception for a lot of people. Sure. Because one thing MLS has suffered for from for a long time, Jared, is this rinky dink vibe. Coolness right? factor. The, it's just not cool. MLS is not cool. Yeah. It's not it's not flashy. It doesn't have any it doesn't have Maybe any. Maybe when you take another league's name and just replace one word does make you sound well original. i don't like the, yeah that's a thing we could debate of course but just the idea that mls felt minor league right and it maybe it still does for a lot of people in terms of the soccer i, I that's fine your perception of the soccer you don't like it whatever you're not going to be satisfied anytime well, soon before, before we move on let's give nikki soup and salad on the show i know he All wanted right. to weigh in on i'm this just saying that, that that mls is attaching itself to to apple's coattails sure. for good reason apple and is cool. all those people at android think it's stupid that's true exactly all right nicholas soup and salad Jump in here. Wait, do we? Do we wait, take? Wait, 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 we whoa, steal? whoa, whoa, whoa! Where's this drop? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I what forget? What the hell just happened? Oh the sausage Ooh, one job. king of Chicago. There he is. There he is. The sausage. What's up, besties? King. Hold on. The sausage king of Chicago. That's Ooh, I like it. I like that. That's good. Nippy, right. Nicky, soup and bangle. What's up? Oh, oh my god! Yeah. You really went there. Soup and uh, sissy. Look, I can't wait for this. I absolutely am ecstatic about this. As nice. somebody who paid for Someone MLS Direct Kick, yeah. yeah, who paid for ESPN Plus, we didn't have yeah. bosses giving us free like subscriptions. <laughs> bosses, but the common man, bosses done. Been, well, bosses Do you know how salary. many times I couldn't watch Hell Is Real because it was blacked out, and I What's live that? in Ohio. Hell Is Real is the rivalry between Columbus and Cincinnati. Jared, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention, please. Oh, in soccer. In soccer. Oh, okay. In MLS. You didn't know oh. what Hell is Real is? No. Dude. I mean, I don't think he has like blue hell. Everyone's got to hell something, dude. The disrespect. Like, this, is, this, is, this is what people need to understand. How much disdain Jared Dubois has for, for flyover country. Just, no, it's what's just, just Everybody's got to hell something. Like, it's in Kansas City, like, blue hell is there. Like, everyone's got to hell something. Mean, I don't know. Meanwhile, as pointed out in the chat, he claims Los Angeles, and you live, what, 45 miles I to, said the, to I, the east? For someone that lives in Philadelphia, <laughs> referentially, I live in L.A. For someone that lives in <laughs> Southern California, I don't live in L.A. Yeah. But I live close enough that you should claim it. I don't claim D.C. Just like and Nick, I, when, you, when you say where you live, you say Toledo, minutes, right? I'm in D.C. I don't claim D.C. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, I but you're not Toledo, in Toledo. But I'm not in Toledo. Yeah. Well, Jason, where do you say you're from? Uh, if somebody Virginia. is not from yeah. the from D.C., I'll say D.C. If they're yeah. from the area, so I'll don't say make Virginia. it like I'm some kind of a hole, some kind of douchebag. But I live, on the I West live Coast. 15 minutes away from Washington D.C. How long does so it take you to get to minutes. Los Angeles? 45 minutes. That's I mean, county I line. To, county I line. To, I'm 10 minutes. I could get to Baltimore in 45 minutes. Do I say I live in Baltimore? I, Los no. Angeles County, 10 minutes. I mean, 45 minutes for me. I'm almost so, halfway to Columbus. All right, Nick. I, I get it. So, so like you he's got, in a uh, different Satan part of real. Ohio, Jerry. Keep going on. Minutes, Satan is real. Part of what, what, what's the, what's this thing? So hell is real. Is the okay. rivalry between Columbus and Cincy? Is that is that because it's hell to live in Ohio? <laughs> oh man! I Do I really you. have to educate you? Okay, you probably on this. <laughs> Sorry, Jared, Jared, please. Me, I mean, right? uh, Nick, Nikki, please I'm, educate. I don't know please. about it. Please tell right. him. Please. So, by the way, a highway between Cincinnati oh. and Columbus, mm -hmm. Interstate seventy-one, yes. halfway between Columbus and Cincinnati. Okay. There's this famous billboard that just says "Hell is real." That How is would it. I know that? Because it was learn all about the MLS. The it was all the, all, all the MLS stuff about the rivalry, Jared. Like, it constantly gets mentioned. But I'm not watching the game, so I'm not seeing this content. Okay. Sorry, well, I now apologize. You have, now with Apple, with, uh, with MLS season pass, you'll be able to watch the Maybe game. Maybe they had a cooler name like El Trafico. <laughs> Maybe you should watch The Ritual or whatever that is on the Apple TV Plus thing. I want to watch The Ritual. 
MLS, I'm give sh- me my code so I can watch the ritual. <laughs> anyway, go for it, buddy. In years past, if the game wasn't nationally televised, I couldn't watch Hell is Real, and I live in Ohio. This isn't going to be an issue anymore. Mm. And I'm very excited about it. So yeah, blackouts were always a, a, a bitch of a thing, man. Like it, 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 was, it was so tough. Like you would be playing your rival. Like when LA and Chivas used to play. Like I sometimes I couldn't watch that game, and I'm in the damn city because the yeah. wrong team had the rights or something like that. I didn't have the channel. Like I'm really, really excited. You're right, Nick. Like the direct kick. That was one of the direct kick was a, actually a really good product in its day. But it failed with the blackout portion because it almost didn't have the the ability and the stature to to bargain against against blackouts. This, yeah. Again, this is unique in sports. This does not exist in any other American sport, as far as I'm aware. Even the NBA with with their league pass, I don't think you get complete blackout uh, defying you know access to everything. And, and 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 there's also this this thing. Okay, again, I understand. If you are one person and one, you're one fan and you're one household and you're paying the the ninety nine dollars for the year or the eighty bucks for the year, it feels like a lot. Am I wrong? Again, I I'm waiting for the league to bestow upon me a free subscription. But am I wrong to to think me that too. you can share this, that you can share your your season pass? You can share it with your you family can. members if they're set up on your Apple uh, your Apple but, ID. But can I just family can I just if I wanted to can I tell say my neighbor's a family member attach them to my I'm account? I'm not sure exactly how it works. But are they going to come and check? Are they going to knock on my door? Is that actually your family? Well, member? I mean, ways to go. Netflix is talking about now if when you for your account you have to log into the home like uh, IP address once every couple days or something like that, or yeah, I can't remember how right. often. Okay, I mean, like, I, I understand that, but I'm but I've seen people say I'm sharing this with other people, right? And I know. Yeah. I was, I'm not even talking about the season ticket access. I'm just talking about people able to you were able to access it from different places as long as you're on the family account through the Apple ID, correct? Sure. Okay. I, haven't read I mean, the I don't fine know print. Maybe that's know. not uh, that's what the best DC. I don't be plan on pirating my my. No, it's not. Pir- what I'm saying it's not pi- pirating. They are giving you the ability to share it. Yeah. Yes. Right. Mike yeah. said. He shared it with his friend in Houston. So my God, dang, you're gonna get caught, dude. What the hell? If, yeah, Apple. The Apple say that people out loud. Gonna, <laughs> he has his last name on the show for God's sakes. The, the Apple. Not his real name. Show up in the house. Not his um, real name. It, so so you could mitigate the cost of this by simply getting a couple other people. Hey, can you toss me five bucks a month through my through your PayPal or through my my Cash App Favors. or whatever? I'm just saying it's it, way to options. have this way to have this idea. After I bought my pass today and, and Nick bought his, we could have had a bestie like like Sherathon. You could God have. Dang it. You could have done that. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you absolutely. We're all could. too you quick might... to pull the trigger to watch we, Sebastian we, Legit we Shark Tank. We, we would start calling Jared and and Nikki cousins if that. Ha- I would love that. That's that, that's your cousin. My interest in, Ohio. in Sebastian Legit's show is exactly equal to how much Becky G will be in it. <laughs> She's already in the trailer. <laughs> Can I just say two things? Yes. Yeah. First thing. Screw Jerry. And, and going back to MLS Direct Kick, mm-hmm. when I called the Direct TV line to add that to my subscription, <laughs> the rep said, "What is that?" Sure, <laughs> sure. So this is how far <laughs> we did he come. be MLS or the pass? The MLS Direct. He didn't know what that was. Uh, MLS Direct Kick back in uh, the day. Yeah, man. back in the remember Secondly, janky graphics they used to have for MLS Direct yeah. Kick. It was so low rent. It was so bad. It was so bad. Well, the, no, the best part, real quick, Jay, did Nikki for you that the best part about Direct Kick for the, the old heads, the old heads know the coolest thing about Direct Kick was during halftime the mic stayed open. Right. And if you were watching the four the feed across the country, you'd hear what the, all the guys were talking about in the booth when they forgot to turn their mics off. Yeah. It yeah. was fantastic. That was one of my favorite things. That actually happened back in the day with the NFL too. That if you had whatever it was direct TV or whatever, whoever had the package, you were getting the raw feed. You weren't getting this like, you know, coordinated feed with ads involved. And you, they would just stay there. You wouldn't even get ads, and you'd get uh, it was nuts. Sorry, Nick, the, what was the other dish, thing? Jared, remember the big dishes people like? If you knew oh, somebody yeah. with a big dish, uh, they were your oh friends. yeah, you get the Tyson fight. You get everything. Yeah, you get everything. <laughs> like like raw feeds from everywhere. It was you watch Claudio Arena play for Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> also i have no idea who becky g is i was watching i saw the trailer of which, which is worse him not knowing who becky I, g is or me not knowing what hell say, is real is quick uh, an impromptu poll in the chat which is worse not knowing what hell is real is or not knowing who becky g is sorry one makes you old, old meal one makes you just disconnected i think uh 
one makes you a Nick, coastal. You're gonna want to Google Becky G after this. One makes I mean, you I a saw coastal. Her in the oh, okay. trailer. I just uh, he don't know what she's famous for. Oh well, what, if you had to guess, let's let's ask him. What, oh, if you had to yeah, guess, what, what Becky G is famous for? What what do you think she's famous for? Ooh. I mean, you you know that she's Sebastian Legette's girlfriend, right? That you I know, know that. Okay, so so, so what, let's do you. First of all, do you think she's more or less famous than Sebastian Legette? Probably, um, well, I guess it's the fact that you asked that. I'm going to say more. Lots more. Hugely Way more. more. Okay. Massively Hugely more. more. Yes. So based on what <laughs> I saw in the trailer. Mucho, mucho más. She was not exactly like, uh, how do I want to put this? She seemed kind of shorter she compared to small. Sebastian. She is small. small. Sure, sure. Uh-huh. Lilliputian. Is <laughs> that, that the word? Bajita. But the word is bajita. I'm Wait, guess do you think she, she gets it? To, do you think she's like a grease man or something? Like, why do you why, her being small? No, no, he like, said it. Give him credit. He okay, what did you say? Is she a singer? She yes. is a she recording is a artist, pop star. Oh. She is. She is Hip-hop. a bilingual very, pop star. Very, very, especially bilingual popular in L.A. Pop star. Very popular in L.A. in the Southwest. Yes. Yeah. Um. There is a song called Pijama. You need to look up Pijama. I think it's called Pijama. So she pijama? enjoyed her time in Foxborough. In pijama. I don't think I, she went out there. I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, I think so. there's a reason he's in Texas now. I don't think so. <laughs> it's not just that Bruce Arena didn't have him in his plans. I, I, I think it was like, I'm not going to that cold place. <laughs> I, think this, I think this is funny. Steve says, <laughs> Becky G, Jimmy Sweep. Because <laughs> she's small. <laughs> like, you get the small spaces. <laughs> Look, she, no, she, is, she, is, she is huge, my friend. She is. I told huge. you. I told you that I just watched Kaleidoscope. There was no Grease Man like in Ocean's Eleven, but they probably should have oh, had yeah. one. Maybe they would have done a better job in Kaleidoscope. Yeah. That oh, is. by the way, yeah. I, I think we're probably moving on from this topic. But I thought of the right name for my TV show that I, I pitched earlier. A better name. Uh-huh. The, the name. Okay. The name for the show is Game Fit. That's not bad. Fit. I can or match see that. Fit. It could be match fit. It could be double ma- meaning. There you go. I, I like it. That these things just come off the dome, man. Oh, man. MLS, you can I have that have... one for free, but the next one I want you to pay for. No, you can't have it free. Man, Unless look, we're going on the record. You got to pay me. Look, I would have thought uh, for sure you would have done some sort of Mike McGee show. Get oh, him involved. Or, it, well, no, what you Mike should McGee's, do is kind of like hot on. ones. You do shots of his, uh, you do oh, shots of his whiskey until uh, and do an interview show with Mike Ooh, McGee. Drunk, drunk MLS history with Mike McGee. I'm in. Dude. Let's do it. Dude, oh, man. You, Alvin man. Gordon stories and stuff oh, like this. Okay, no, no, no. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Mike McGee. I mean, you know, obviously we, we want to be involved as hosts. I, I, I'm, but we're going to pitch ideas, not just us, right? Mike McGee doing shots with. Uh, another former player, and they're yes. watching back highlights of each other. Yeah, like Gary commenting. Neville's uh, soccer box or whatever they call that. What's it called? But but it's with without with alcohol. Oh yeah, well, absolutely. He's got to have vodka involved. Sneaky fox. Is it vodka? Sneaky I said fox. whiskey. It's it's vodka. No vodka. Sneaky uh, fox vodka. I believe. Dude, right. we I know. Like, I know Steve. Steve in the chat saying, "Stop giving my ideas away." I, I know. <laughs> I know. I know, man. Like, right? They could have the this, hot ones. No, of, but this is on soccer. the record. You all, yes. you're all witnesses. Producer okay? credits. You might get sus- subpoenaed, so just be ready. Okay. It's only a matter might, of time. You might get su- subpoenaed. Look. And the name uh, of the it, show is Sneaky Fox in the Box. I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not too proud to say that that we could just do a cheap seats version with MLS. Come on, we we could do that. That's a thing we. Well, we should do Mystery Science Theater three thousand, where it's just us from behind watching old games and like oh, and like man. talking shit. I mean, old games. The the we the the last week of of matches and the highlights from that. Absolutely, let's go. Let's go. So, G, right wow. there, Nick. Becky G videos have over two billion views on YouTube. What's her Just most popular l- song or most famous song? Uh, Despacito. So a, she, she's in a cup. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up for you. No, Despacito is not a Becky G jam. <laughs> bad uh, Becky. That's sure. bad Becky. What did you say? Ba- bad Becky. Bad Becky is what? Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. I'm. I'm gonna look up her. Her. Oh uh, man, do you much content we just gave away? God dang it. Sin Pijama. Sin Pijama is the name of that song. Mike Jordis. Mike Jordis is a good song. That's from 2017. No. Uh, let's see. I'm going to ask my uh, kids if they know who she is. Ja Akawo. Ja Akawo. It's already over. Ja Akawo. Let's go listen to that one. Hmm. All right, y'all. Um, you, got, you got a lot of, of, of random content tonight, but I hope you all enjoyed it. And you got to be live for a pitch meeting. Okay, so I don't... <laughs> 
I don't think, man, this is, but this is the G rated, PG rated version. The pitch meetings right. get nuts. Uh-huh. And so that leads me into we're we're not doing bonus tonight, right? We're we're not able no, to. No, I have bonus. to do my taxes. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were showing the frisbee because you're about to blow through some frisbee golf. No, no, not right now. No. Okay, gotta go do your taxes. All right, that's fun times too. Uh, no bonus this week, or at least not now. There was a bonus last week. Nicholas Soup and Sal was not involved, and which is unfortunate because it was um, it was a <laughs> it went off the rails at one point. Uh, you need Nick, to send me the show then. Oh, you I haven't can't listened. access it. You haven't listened. Oh, that's is, right. it, is, it okay, okay. is it okay to say that, that Morgan's not here because she's on a date tonight? I think that's okay to say. We can't say anything else. We well, can't go into details. But if you're not getting the bonus shows, you're not going to find out how it went. If you if you <laughs> if you are um uh, if you are a, a besties patron, definitely go back and listen to last week's bonus show because they're, they're I can't even say what came up at the end of the. Sh- I can't even. I don't the, remember the what joke. came up at the end of the show. We talked about Dick Van Dyke. Oh, and then yeah, yeah. Morgan mistook one dick for another dick, and it became a thing. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go. There's got to get signed mista- up. I think mistaken, that's how Kim, Kim Kardashian got famous. Mistaken dick identity is all that happened. Um, go get the bonus show. Sign up for the Patreon of the best uh, the best soccer show. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for now, right? Yeah. What else? Game yeah. fit. Make it happen. Did we hit all the topics that we planned on? No, on God, no. About? I'm sure we didn't. I'm sure we didn't. <laughs> and I'm okay with that 100%. Man, some of you are probably like, you know what? I prefer a show where they have the list of topics. You know what? Like Extra Time Radio. I, I respect the hustle of those guys. They're doing great work covering the league. Hey, go, go enjoy Around the Horn. We, We'll we know what's that, coming up next all the we time. We have that unspoken rivalry with Andrew Weeby, which I don't even know. What was that? Weebeef. 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 We have Weebeef. Yeah, Weebeef. Every time I, I see them post their show... Andrew Weeby's like got like. I wish show he wasn't notes. so damn likable. The dude's so damn likable. It's like ah. two forty three. They talk about the new DP in San Jose. Four sixty two. That's not even possible. <laughs> they talk about like how do you who does that? Who yeah, goes back? What, what's going to say is like at twelve minutes Jared pitches idea and at minute fifty two he came up with the name. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's how this works. For, uh, for five uh, minutes we explained to to, to Nick what a uh, Becky G is. <laughs> Jerry doesn't know what hell is real is at uh, at forty five thirty two or whatever that was. All right, all right, that's it. That's going to do it for us here on this episode of the Best Soccer Show. Oh, thank you very much for participating quick. live. Balagun, hat trick. Oh, is he coming to the U.S.? Following Balagun, I got. Hold on, let me. Following Balagun. Let, let me ask right? you a question real quick. Whose yeah. job would it have been to get him to commit? Burhalter, McBride, or Stewart? All right, I'm going to say something. I, I've interviewed Brian a couple times. I wouldn't call him even an acquaintance, okay? So I kind of, I'm feeling like a, there's enough separation here for me. I respect the guy. Incredible um, a U.S. men's national team player, an absolute legend. Oh, you're about to trash him. No, I just think that my man Brian probably doesn't connect to the youth all that well. Mm. I, I think there might be a divide there. I think Brian has really strong he dad He doesn't energy. know what a Becky G is. I don't think Brian McBride knows what a Becky G is. Mm. I think this is the thing about Greg. Whatever you want to say about his tactics or his personnel choices in games, and there's lots to pick apart, I think the man connected with the youth. And I'm not saying he's cool. Oh, I agree with you I'm on saying that. his energy is different. And I think that there's a vibe that those guys connected with. I don't think Brian's got it. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I I, think I'm so. going to go with you on that. I, yeah, I, I, but I, now, I don't know who's doing the work. Now I, I they don't know. gotta recruit it, themselves. It, it, here's what I'm worried and, is that someone in England is is at that guy's door today, you know, like talking him up, trying to get him to join. I mean, wh- what are we doing? We expect so, you like, we expect a like, to do it for us. Like, like this is like a CIA situation, and they're like, "Who's our who's our man? Who's our man in 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 France right now? Can we get him to Rang? Yeah, can we get him to Rance or whatever it's called? Yeah, well, remember the over there, Klinsman, right dude? Who was that German to Austrian dude he had? Uh, the, uh, uh, that was uh, he was with the Galaxy Andy at one point. Herzog. Andy, Andy Herzog. Andy Herzog. We had a guy in Europe, like just there, ready to go. You know, like hey, within two hours of every European nation, he could get there. Man, who's not doing something in Europe? We don't right have now? a we fixer. Have a, we don't we need a fixer. fixer right now. We need a wolf. Who's our fixer? Who's we the wolf? A, man, who of all the alums? And it doesn't have to be an alum. I'm not saying that, again, Andy yeah. Herzog was not a U.S. Men's National Team alum, but of all of them, who would you trust to be the fixer right now? Man, so he's got to connect to youth. 
I have my choice. It has to be willing to like live in Europe. If well, I was, sure. uh, okay, the guy I would pick, man, he might be too much of a hype dog. Like it could be, it could be a female fixer. It could be a female, not Danielle Reyna. It could be a female fixer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to say, I, I, I kind of, oh, you know what, Jimmy Conrad. Oh, interesting, interesting, James Conrad. You share a birthday with that man. I do. It's coming up. When is that? Like a week from now. It's ten. Oh, it's ten days. Ten days from now. Everybody yeah. remember Jared's birthday. I always get in trouble for forgetting. No, you get in trouble for wishing Jimmy Conrad a happy birthday and not me. Well, I'm not on Twitter anymore, so I'm going to only wish you a okay. happy birthday this time. Who's your fixer? I might text Jimmy. We'll, we'll just do it that way. DeMarcus Beasley is Jimmy's my phone fixer. number. Uh... <laughs> I actually don't know. Oh, DeMarcus I Beasley's a good shout, dude. DeMarcus That's Beasley's a good my shout. Fixer. And I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, according to DeMarcus Beasley, Greg lost the locker room anyway. So, yeah. He's in the I, know. I know that he. That's He's not really what he said. He kind of walked oh, Nick, back. Nick, Nick wants in. Nick wants in. Okay. All right. Do I have to play him in no, again? We're like way over time now. The what sausage about, can we don't, We're not on WNBC, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what, what family? I don't know about uh, you doing your taxes. You're just putting about, that off. What about Mo Adu? I, can I don't see know that. if Mo's going to give it. He's good in the studio. He, I think he enjoys that studio life, man. I don't think I he's that. going to do that. I think I Beasley, I think... I, 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 for some reason, Beasley feels right to me. Like that's a dude that could still connect. You don't think he could do both? I don't actually, know. I'm not they, saying they, from I, an official. Kate Abdo's hold on, doing, hold doing on. both continents. I think I actually think that the ten extra years that Demarcus has on Mo work in his favor for this. I think yeah. they do. You think yeah. he's ten I just years think older than him? At least I think. Mo do Mo do t- retired first. Yeah, I know, but Mo do is yeah. like okay. Maybe it's not ten years. Let's. Yeah, how much do you think years. it is, Jared? What about Gooch? Uh, I could definitely see Gooch. Sure. I want Gooch actually to be. I, I kind of want Gooch to take yeah, the GM job. I'm not going to lie to you. I think Gooch is like made for an executive position. All right, man. Look, I'm telling you. Demarcus, okay. Moadu, how old do you think Moadu is? I think Moadu, let's see. I I believe Landon was uh, five right. years it's younger only than four, me. 40. It's only four years. You're right. It's yeah. only four years. 36 at Moadu? Yeah, 36. Okay. I thought he was younger. I thought he was younger. And it's not 10 years. Okay, it's four. You're right. No, no we're not I, putting Clint Mathis in this position. No, not Clint Mathis. Dude eats too much cheese to be in Europe. That's what they do in Europe. What are you talking about? I know, dude. <laughs> it's bad for his oh, you're health. saying he, you're saying it would be bad for him. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's before, it. I, before I botch more ages and, and age and sorry, either sorry age to throw Balogun Beasley up in or what would you say? Sorry to throw Balogun up on you. No, no, it's a good it's a good thing. We we need to be talking about Balogun. The more attention we give him, the more likely he is to choose instant the United starter. States. Instant starter in the U.S. national team. Yeah. The the by, the, the one thing I'll say about that is. Uh, American soccer fans are some of the thirstiest people on the planet when it comes to like, he posted about his hat trick on Twitter. The replies are just like, pick me. It's like, it's like, like, I don't know. It's like a a fat. But you know what though, dude? I think that's one of the reasons guys like Yunus Musa and Shredi Nades picked the U.S. Because we're unabashedly proud, like to a fault. You know, I, I don't know that Britain speaks their pride the way that the no, no, U.S. You're right. does. English soccer fans, number one, if they do care about the national team, they're usually not the people who be like, kind hey, of pick too. us, pick mm-hmm. us, because they're not thirsty and desperate like that. They're just not. We are thirsty and desperate. And you sometimes it's good to be wanted. Like sometimes you want to be wanted, right? That's what mm-hmm. you're saying? That we're yeah. like, we're like the, we're like, uh, she's all that. We've just had our, we just had our, our makeover. And, mm. you know, we haven't had the popular, we haven't gone out with the popular guy yet. And now we're going to chase We're that just showing up to the guy. dance and let everyone have that moment. Like, who's yeah, that Yeah, but girl? we're also like. Oh, my God, also, that's Becky? <laughs> this analogy fell apart. All right. Thank you very much for listening to and watching the Best Soccer Show. Again, check out the Patreon. Hit us up on your socials. And we will talk to you next week. Bye. Damn, dog, that's in a post. What are we doing? The horror show. Oh, it's incredible. The sausage king of Chicago. Danger zone. Get to the chopper. Calm down, Greg. It's soccer. It's soccer. Who asked those questions? Go to DEFCON 2. Duh and or hello. Oh, baby. The sausage king of Chicago. WNBC. WNBC.
Stay Rodius.